Antonio Rudiger makes decision on his future amid Chelsea crisis. Antonio Rudiger looks almost certain to leave Chelsea at the end of the season amid the chaos which has enveloped the Premier League club. Earlier on Thursday, the UK government announced it had sanctioned Roman Abramovich amid the ties to Vladimir Putin which the Chelsea owner has always strongly denied. Chelsea have been placed under a special operating license which prevents Abramovich from making the quickfire sale he desires, while the club are not permitted to make any new signings, sell anyone or conduct contract negotiations. With nine first-team squad members entering the final stages of their current deals, Chelsea's have effectively been placed in window and one of their most high-profile players is unlikely to hang around to see how the situation plays out. Rudiger has emerged as a vital component of Thomas Tuchel's Chelsea team having effectively been frozen out by his predecessor Frank Lampard. Despite his importance, the former Roma centre-half has been frustrated by the lack of progress made in talks over an extension and had been holding out for a salary offer in the region of £250,000 a week. According to Sky Sports News, however, the Germany international is now minded to leave at the end of the season and will assess the offers he is likely to receive from Real Madrid, Paris Saint-Germain and Manchester United. Chelsea also appear destined to lose Andreas Christensen, another impending free agent to Barcelona. Thomas Tuchel admits he had doubts going into Chelsea's clash with Norwich City. Speaking after the game, Tuchel revealed his doubts leading into the league clash against bottom-of-the-table Norwich City. It would be a lie if I said we I had no doubts but I also had a lot of trust, the German tactician told BBC Match of the Day. In difficult circumstances we produced a lot of results and good performances so we can trust in our mentality and the culture in the club. We allowed ourselves to focus on the football. The former Paris Saint-Germain manager then went on to answer questions as to whether there was more pressure on his players, given the recent news. In turn, he expressed his delight at his side's performance given the circumstances, as quoted by Football London. I think they are only relieved because of the game. We played a fantastic first half but we played the second half like we were three or four goals up. Second half we were kind of in control but the opponent was stronger and they have nothing to lose. They took risks and we struggled to adapt. We conceded and then it was a tight one. We have to take care better and that is why I think there was relief in the end. The situation will not go away, maybe it will change or whatever. Thomas Tuchel provides Christian Pulisic and Cesar Aspiliqueta injury and illness update following Norwich win. Chelsea boss Thomas Tuchel has provided an update on Cesar Aspiliqueta and Christian Pulisic's absences after the Blues win over Norwich City. Pulisic did not start the match after an illness, whilst Aspiliqueta was taken off at half-time due to illness also. Speaking after the match, via football. London, Tuchel provided an update on the pair. He said, Christian did not feel well in the morning. He had two bad nights and felt sick. Had a change of temperature, felt hot and then cold. So we decided to leave him at home to rest. Last minute change. As P at half time didn't feel well. Stomach problems looked pale. So we decided to change. Ruben Loftus cheek came on for Chelsea at half time playing in an unfamiliar role at right wing back and looked comfortable. The Blues will be hopeful that Aspiliqueta is not sidelined for too long as Rhys James is also out of the team through injury for at least four matches. The report states that James' injury is understood that the damage isn't as bad as first feared when James had his first scan, although the tests on Wednesday have confirmed he needs to spend some time on the sidelines. He will miss matches against Newcastle United, LOSC Lille and Middlesbrough across three competitions, the Premier League, Champions League and FA Cup. Speaking on James' injury, Tuchel previously said, Still we need some more details, more information. Today will be further examinations. It is obvious what he gives to our team so not good news at the moment. A setback for sure, I hope not a big one. It remains to be seen as to the extent of Pulisic's injury, with Chelsea stacked in the attacking areas. Mason Mount believes he should have scored more for Chelsea versus Norwich. Speaking on the Blues' win, via Premier League Productions, Mount admitted he should have added to his goal. It's nice when it comes in the first half because you can relax a little bit. It was very similar to the goal I scored here a few years ago, he said. We talked about the cutbacks that would be available. Luckily I hit the target and scored. I rushed the volley which I should have scored. The midfielder put on a show for the travelling Chelsea fans, showing his class as he demanded the ball at his feet. 
His link-up play with Havertz was impressive as the pair are building up a real connection in Chelsea's attack. Despite being without Christian Pulisic, the pair continued the good work shown in recent weeks as Chelsea looked dangerous in attack. The second half saw Norwich build confidence, with a mistake from Chalabar allowing Pucky to convert from the penalty spot. However, the Blues did not let their heads drop and Havertz did brilliantly to seal all three points late on. Mount continued his impressive goal-scoring record against Norwich, adding to his hat-trick at Stamford Bridge earlier in the season. Next up for Chelsea is a home clash against Newcastle United in Premier League action on Sunday afternoon, with the Blues sitting comfortably in third place in the Premier League table. Thomas Tuchel praises key quality of Chelsea stars amid Roman Abramovich crisis. Thomas Tuchel praised the character of his Chelsea stars in their 3-1 win over Norwich given the ongoing crisis at the club. Chelsea owner Roman Abramovich was today sanctioned by the UK government amid his alleged links to Vladimir Putin with the Russian president ordering an invasion of Ukraine last month. Abramovich's sale of the club has now been put on hold while the club cannot currently buy or sell players, leading to plenty of uncertainty around several squad members' futures. However, the Blues put the noise aside to secure three points at Carrow Road this evening and Tuchel was proud of the way his team handled the occasion. The result was excellent. It's never easy to win an away game. We played a very good first half, he said. We played in the second half with a bit of feeling maybe we had a higher lead. Suddenly the energy is back in the stadium and the opponent has nothing to lose but we dug in and managed to win which was important to us. It's a bit awkward as we played weeks and weeks with no games in the Premier League. It's necessary. We are in the race and want the best possible outcome. There is some noise around the club so big credit to the guys for their character. Chelsea have been given a special licence, which runs out on May 31, 2022, to continue to operate as a club but as part of the sanctions they cannot hand out new contracts to current players or benefit financially through merchandise and new ticket sales. It's put Abramovich's sale of the club on hold for now too and Tuchel is well aware the questions around his own future as well as what lies ahead for the West London outfit will not go away anytime soon. On the situation at Chelsea and having to answer questions, he said, all the time of course. It is big news. It is huge and has a huge impact of course so it is the subject of the talks. Maybe on a day like this you would talk about the Champions League games last night but nobody talks about this. So it nice to enter a schedule before a match as it helps to focus as we're used to it. We cannot influence it so we allowed ourselves to enjoy it. We have the privilege to play and sometimes it's good to sweat it out. We tried to work hard to get the focus out. I would love to talk about sport but of course I understand you have a lot of questions. We are also in entertainment so that's why it is like this. Thomas Tuchel has no intentions of quitting Chelsea amid Manchester United interest. Thomas Tuchel will not quit Chelsea amid interest from Manchester United following recent news surrounding the state of ownership of the club, according to reports. Blues owner Roman Abramovich announced a week ago that he would be selling the West London club and a bank in New York has been taking offers since then for the club. The UK government chose to sanction Abramovich due to his close ties with Vladimir Putin, and thus sale of the European champions has since been halted. Since news of the sanctions, news has emerged that Thomas Tuchel is a potential target for Manchester United who are assessing their management options for next season. Their current manager Ralph Rangnick is just in the position until the end of the current season while the Reds search for a new manager. As reported by The Telegraph, however, Tuchel has no intention of quitting Chelsea. The report claims that sources close to the German tactician insist he loves working for the West London club. Manchester United are reported to be searching for coaches that seem more realistic, including both Paris Saint-Germain's Mauricio Pochettino, who is expected to leave at the end of the season, and Ajax's Eric Ten Hag. Tuchel will undoubtedly face plenty of questions surrounding the immediate future of the club, given the recent news. It is understood, according to The Telegraph, that Tuchel is less concerned at present about issues surrounding buying and selling players, and the financial implications of Ambramovich's sanctions, than he is about who will take over once the club is sold. Sources believe that Tuchel's Chelsea future is only likely to be in doubt when he finds out more about who the new owners will be and how they want to run the club. That is on Chelsea News today. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much. Goodbye and see you by tomorrow news.